And so we will just give her a few minutes to, uh, to recover and to get used to having the transponder on, and then we'll let her go. Brains on Board is a research project funded by the EPSRC, which is spending five years to try and reverse engineer the honeybee brain and understand how it generates the behavior that it generates. Because bees are amazing autonomous agents and our current AI technology is way behind what even a simple small bee's brain can achieve in terms of working in the real world. So we're a consortium of three universities led by the University of Sheffield and including the University of Sussex and Queen Mary in London. We started with the observation that bee brains are tiny, they're just under a million neurons, but despite being so small, a bee can fly 10 kilometers to a point in space, get back to the point it came from, the nest, then fly back to that point again, because it's a flower patch, for example, tell other bees to go there, all while not getting lost and doing all of this very efficiently and robustly. And that's very challenging for modern AI. We just don't have any technology that can do what a bee can do with the same degree of success. Bees' colour vision is extremely good and we're testing how extremely good it is. We've been doing a very diverse range of research from the basic neuroscience where we take recordings from bee brains or working in a virtual reality environment where we can play with them a bit more and see what they can actually do. One of the interesting things we're doing with Joe, who's at Queen Mary University, is tracking bees in the wild using tiny radar transponders and the big harmonic radar rig that sits in the field. And that lets us work out what they were seeing as they were flying around. And we have a 3D reconstruction of where they fly. And then we can feed that into our models to work out what's the basis of their decision making. And then we've also been developing the technology. We've been building models of important parts of the bee brain involved in navigation and other decision making and using those to control robots. Fully understanding the brain of a honeybee is a long-term research project. You could think of it as a kind of moonshot program. What we want to do is show to people that that is actually really worthwhile. And one way we're doing that is commercializing the technology, showing industry that there are advantages from this approach over current approaches to AI in terms of efficiency and robustness and so forth. The University of Sheffield's commercialization program has helped create a, a new private entity that is taking the, the work of the research forward into the commercial world. There we go. Some of the first research that came out of the Bones and Bob project tell us how bees perceive motion in the world. And so you, you can use this technology to let a real life robot understand how it is moving through the world by emulating that algorithm that is taken from the bee brain and put into our robot. The algorithms are very robot agnostic, so we're working with air robots, with ground robots, uh, that could be robot delivery and uh, mining robots, we're doing some work under the sea, and we're keen at some point to start some off-world work. So fundamentally we think that there's a new way of doing AI and if we're going to move beyond current technology we're going to need to study real brains. The UK is actually really well placed to be in the vanguard of this new approach to AI due to its long history of neuroscience, animal behavior, and uh, computer science. And that's gonna be transformative. <laughs>